Hi, this is Dr. Rob Rosberg from Hospital for Special Surgery, and I want to share with you a case example of osseointegration limb replacement for a bilateral above knee amputee who was a wounded warrior. More information is on the osseointegration website. Thalmer was a wounded warrior. He unfortunately lost both of his legs and was not doing well. Um, he was unable to wear socket prosthetics and was really um, limited to using a wheelchair. The reason he was not able to wear sockets had to do with the fact that he's a bilateral amputee plus the shape and length of his residual limbs. This is an example of what the uh, x-rays look like. You can see one side was a little bit shorter than the other and the plan was to make the sizes equal and the planning that goes into that. Osseointegration limb replacement is insertion of a titanium implant into the residual bone, which creates a direct skeletal connection uh, with the prosthetic leg. The surgery at HSS was a bilateral surgery done in one surgical setting. Immediately um, after the surgery, the patient um, had the abutments uh, available and was ready to start some uh, early loading. And this is shown on the first day after surgery. This was a single stage bilateral osseointegration limb replacement. Uh, follow up in the clinic shows the uh, progressive loading that was done uh, at first in the supine position and then at around six weeks, I was able to allow him to start doing bilateral weight bearing directly on the ends of the abutments. And then a very exciting day at three months, he got his legs and pictured here is the rest of our uh, prosthetic and orthotic team. Well, this is osseointegration limb replacement. You can see the direct skeletal connection and this allows the direct attachment of the prosthetic legs to the skeleton, which gives the patient a tremendous advantage and improved function. Um, this is uh, Thomer um, expressing his joy with his newfound mobility. He's got quick connects, and here he's pictured at around four and a half months after the surgery. Already walking pretty well with Canadian crutches. He's gaining more and more independence and his confidence and his mental state is dramatically improving. Pictured here is Thomer about eight months after the initial surgery, showing the uh, quick connect of both limbs showing how quickly he's able to do it. And then demonstrating his ability to walk without any assistance. More information is on our website listed here. And I've been happy to share the story of Thomer uh, with you. Thank you for your attention.